Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the latest episode of Swan TV. Uh, we're going to be doing some Meet the Swans over the next few weeks. Uh, we've done some before, but we are we are starting that trip again. And today I am delighted to be joined by one of our most amazing energy contract enthusiasts, client guide, whatever you decide to call them, uh, account managers. This is Hannah Cooper. Hannah, welcome. Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing? I'm good. For the purpose of this video, I shall call you Coops. For those that don't know, <laughs> you call Hannah Coops. So for the purpose of this, if I say Coops, that's that's who I'm talking about. That's really stuck, hasn't it? I like it has it. stuck. Yeah. It has stuck. I feel sorry with your husband because I'm assuming that was probably his nickname. Yeah, well, he's he's Coop without the S. Oh, so it's like the S for you. a Coops and a Coop. But yeah, but since you, you, you've always called me Coops, um, yeah. it's really stuck. And other people in the office call me, call me Coops now as well. And we love it, don't we? Yeah. We love it. We love it. So, Coops. Talk to me. For the people watching this video who yes. don't know what you do mm -hmm. uh, at Indigo Swan on a day to day basis, would you like to just give us a brief intro in, into how long you've been here, mm -hmm. what you do, and, and what a day to day life as a, as a, as a client guide energy contract enthusiast looks like? Yeah, of course. So I'm Hannah, and I have been here for five years now, five and a, coming up five and a half years now, actually. Um, and I am a like Dave said, we've got many different names, client guide, contract enthusiast, um, sort of key, key account manager. Um, so generally, I look after um, our large business side of things. So you do. Our, um, sort of larger customers, multi-sites and all that sort of thing. Um, and I sort of day to day um, speak to clients. Um, I do tenders, um, look for prices, um, organise contracts um, and kind of generally just help with all sorts of uh energy questions that pop up anything you do yeah so what, what, do you, what do you what do you enjoy about your role Coops? what do you enjoy about your role what do you like from your day to day i like do you know what i like i really like that everything's always it's always different there's always something new that comes up so the wonderful world of energy is very complex and i don't think that there's anybody that will know absolutely everything about energy things are always changing there's always new legislation coming in um so there's always something new to to learn and i like yep. that because you don't get bored you don't kind of come in every day and go oh yeah i'm doing this again i'm doing that again i'm doing this it's there's always new things and there's always new sites and supplies that you're looking at different you know um, different clients to speak to who have different needs um, I think I think that's probably one, one of my favorite things is actually yeah talking to clients and getting to know people and building up those relationships um, with with my clients um, you know I do like to have a chat um, and I do, <laughs> I do like that personal like approach which um, is one thing that I really love about Indigo Swan is that you know our clients are are people, they're not just a, a number, they're not just a no. contract. Um, you know, I know all my clients by name, I know children's names, I know interests, and, and I think that's what's what's really lovely. And especially over the past five years, there's certain people that I've really built up a, a really good um relationship with. Um and talking to them. Never a boring day in the ghost one, is that good? It's never boring. No, there's always something interesting coming up. Yeah. Absolutely. And outside your day today, what, what do you love about working at Indigo Swan? What do you love about the company? So I think all that time ago, five, five and a half years ago, um, we were much smaller, um, right. but already, you know, it was a familiar name that I'd heard about. Um, and I'd always heard about Indigo Swan and, and knew what you guys were doing. And the fact that you were, I, I was really drawn to the company because you, you didn't, again, sort of repeating myself, but you didn't look at clients as numbers, as yep. figures. You looked at them as people. And I think in previous roles and jobs that I'd had, got really disillusioned with the whole sort of corporate side of things that mm. didn't really care about the customer themselves. Um, they just cared about how much money they were making them. Um, and it didn't sit well with me. It, I, I didn't enjoy it. No. I, I'm much more like to you know people are people people's businesses are very important to them and you know it really upsets me when there's businesses and, and companies out there that just take people for a ride they give them false information just to make money out of them just and then we know a few of them don't we we don't we do we do and it, and it really yeah it really riles me up and I did work for a company that was like that not for very long because I was like no. nah this <laughs> it's is not for me it's not for me I'm not into this yeah. Goodbye. 
So I think over the last five years, you know, we've we've grown and still at the at the core of the business, it's still those values are the same. Yep. So even though we have got bigger, we've got more clients, we've got um, you know, more employees. The, the core aspect of actually helping people, helping businesses, giving them the, the, the correct information, um, you know, not lying to them. No, you know, if, if, if we don't think, you know, if, if we don't sugarcoat things, you know, if the market is in a bad position, market's in a bad position, don't sign now, let's wait and let's do yep. that. You know, we don't just get people into contracts because that makes us money if it's not no. for the client. And that's what I really admire and I really like that that um that's always been the way um and everybody here that does work at indigo swan is all the it, we've all got those same values as well um so i think that's probably my overall sort of thing that i love about this oh, that's good. do you have a favorite indigo swan moment oh god a favorite indigo swan moment there's been quite a few moments over the past few years there has been not sick of me to be fair like i have to say most days there is a funny there's a moment that it, <laughs> yeah that most days there's a moment of some sort isn't it there? there really is like even this morning when we had our so it's wednesday so we had um our wednesday meeting we did um, so every Wednesday, we all have a, a meeting in the morning, say what we've been doing over the week. And then <laughs> James will always ask a question. Yep. And today it was, are you a morning person and are you an evening person? And Amy, um, our beautiful head of... Um, oh, my Quite very shifts, thank you. Um, she said, I'm not a morning, was it? I'm not a morning bird. I'm not an evening, evening. Or night owl. I'm an exhausted pigeon. She um, was an exhausted pigeon. I just, that, yeah, I found that hilarious. It was brilliant. Yeah. And I was like, yes, that's that's how I feel. And I love that. I love um, that. And we also then found out we have a lot of exhausted pigeons. We do, yeah. Because Definitely. we work so hard. Yeah. We because we work so hard, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was just, yeah, there's little moments like that, I think. Um, you know, Indigo Swan is is one of those places that you work. There's always laughter. There's always Absolutely. things going on. There's always those little moments that you remember. Um, funny conversations. So, yeah. Love that, Coops. Love that. So, outside of the nest, outside of Indigo Swan, what do you, what do you I mean, I know, but for the purpose of people watching who, who don't <laughs> know you, do? So, what, do you, what do you do? What do you do? What do you like doing? How do you like spending your spare time? I mean, let's take, let's take COVID out of the equation because none of us have done a huge amount in the last, yeah. well, we're starting to now, but last 18 months, but take that out of the equation. Uh, how do you normally like to spend your, um, your spare time? So even without COVID, I am a bit of a home bird. Um, I, I love my home. My home is definitely yep. where my heart is. It's where I spend most of my time. Um, I love, you know, sitting on the sofa with my husband, watching Marvel films and yep. binging box sets and all that sort of thing. Um, but I do also like venturing out of the house. Um, yeah, going... Um, if you have to. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Uh, meeting up with friends. I've got some good um, friendship groups, um, you know, going down the pub, going out for dinner, all that sort of thing. Um, but I also like having adventures with my husband yeah. we like to go and we like to travel we like to go and visit parts of the world um you know see different places um and I think that's the thing that we we've really struggled with with COVID actually is that we haven't been able to sort of plan that really big adventure we we try and have a big adventure every year yeah. um, we haven't been able to do that and yeah I really really miss it so um our last adventure was when we went to so it was three three years ago actually um was when we went to california and uh mr coops uh surprised me by popping the question he did and, uh we got married four on that trip in las vegas he yeah. did got engaged one day four days later married in vegas, in vegas. <laughs> that was it that was yeah that was three years ago so that was like that was a big adventure that was that was amazing um we did that so we definitely want things to get better so we can plan something else Get on your next adventure. Get on your next adventure. Great. Favourite Marvel character? Yeah, so many. Oh, wait, just putting on the spot now. Bang. Yeah, no, I can't even get into that. I can't even get into that conversation. We'll Don't be here too long, long, won't we? Ha Don't have enough time. Haven't got time. I, I love them all. Equally. <laughs> equally. But yeah, there's certain ones like Iron Man will always have a special place in my heart. Always. Always. Just perfect. Excellent. Thanks, Gibbs. So uh, last thing, I asked you to bring along a um, item with you today that has been significant or something that has, you know, kept you going or you've used over the last sort of 16 to 18 months uh, yeah. since the pandemic started. 
Would you like to tell and show us your item and explain to me the and the viewers the significance of this? So this is really going to show how nerdy I am um, and uh, delve into something else that I do with my spare time. Um, okay. Probably do too much of my spare time with this. So um, this happened at the start of COVID. Um, my husband made me download Pokemon Go. <laughs> onto my oh wow phone. she's more pokemon go ever pokemon go and you still still going i am absolutely obsessed james like i i fell in deep it's so deep into the world of pokemon um and it was brilliant and it was it was something that for us we could do together we it made us it, it made us leave the house i was gonna say you went hunting pokemon didn't you yeah. So we would go, we would just go on walks, catch Pokemon, have gym battles. Um, if you don't know anything about Pokemon, you're going to be like, what is she talking about? Um, and, oh, love it. It's so much fun. And it just, yeah, it was something that actually that really helped me um, during lockdown because it gave, yeah, like I said, it gave me reason to, to go out um, for walks. Um, so I've got, you know, more exercise um, at home. It just gave me something to, to do when I sat on the sofa in the evenings and I love it. And it's so, it's brilliant. It's so much fun. Um, yeah. Met people uh, who also play it, um, enjoy it. I also think I've nearly persuaded Andrea to download it. So Oh, amazing. Yes, I've, uh, so. <laughs> We're spreading the love around the office. I love that. <laughs> so yeah, I did entice her by saying we can go on Pokemon walks during lunch hour wow and she was like i'm sold i'm doing it so it's not yeah. in the office and you're just all going to be sitting around yeah yeah trying trying the balls in it okay. <laughs> yeah. all right i downloaded it for a very short time well. i didn't stick to it as much as you have for the, for the purposes of you know we might have some pokemon uh lovers on here what level are you on 41 41 yeah. that sounds that sounds impressive i'm assuming that's impressive so this is my little claim to fame um okay. so with pokemon levels you've got um it was Originally, it was only level, uh, went to level 40. Right. Um, and then they added, as people were going to level 40, they then added an extra 10 levels, so you can get up to 50. Okay. Um, to get to level 50 is super, super hard from level 40 to 50. But still, you're at 41, which is amazing. 41. I got to level 40. Yes. In 10 months. 10 months? Yeah. Wow. Chase. So I was quite, yeah. That you're on it, weren't you? You were on it. The intensity of my Pokemon playing that I got to level 40 in 10 months and there was people that I know that have been playing for over a year and hadn't got there and I was like oh god I love you I, I just love you sharing this because there'll be people that know you there'll be some of your clients watching this <laughs> you just have no idea that the love for Pokemon Go was so strong I know this is the thing I mean people look at me and talk to me they have no idea that I'm a little nerd underneath we love that about you Coops we love that about you I've got a lot of different, we different faces well you must have a favorite Pokemon though Yes, Evie. Okay, Evie. Yeah, Evie. Right. She's a little. Um... You're gonna find her for me, now, aren't you? I was gonna see if I can find. Yeah, let me find little Evie. She's adorable. So, uh, for you Pokemon fans out there, you know exactly who Evie is. For yeah. those who don't, you're about to see. That's Evie. There's Evie. She's super cute. Amazing. And I even have. Oh God, I'm getting really nerdy now. So my little avatar, I've got an EV base. There you go. Oh, oh Lord, Hannah. Amazing. I'm going really into it now. I'm getting super. If anyone's nervous. watching, search yeah. Harlot Hannah. You're there. <laughs> Fun. I love it. I love Thanks. it. Coops, I love you sharing that. And I think that's, yeah, and I think that's, I think it's a brilliant thing. And, and like you say, just from a, from a getting out of the house during COVID, you know, from the lockdown to, to having a reason or having something that added a little bit of entertainment to what would normally be maybe a little bit of a mundane walk every day. Yeah, well, that's you, you added a little bit of excitement and something a little bit different to it. And I think that's where I think that's where technology can can really help us, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because that's the thing we have the um, we have the same route, you know, the same walk that we would do at lunchtime every day. And it does, you know, it's a beautiful walk, I have to say, living a gorgeous part of the I live sort of um in the city centre down by the river. So we have a lovely, lovely walk that we go on. But you know, when you do it every day, it does get a little bit like same old, same old. Yeah. Bring that into it. You've got Pokemon to catch then. You know. Just don't know who you're gonna come across. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well Coops, thank you ever so much for joining me. 
Well, this was Hannah Cooper, ladies and gentlemen, one of our amazing client guys, energy contract enthusiasts. If you're lucky enough to get her as your account manager, now you know a little bit more about her. Um, and thank you for sharing all of that, Coops. It's been awesome. Oh, thanks. Um, next episode, guys, we will have Andrea joining us, who is new to the to the client guide world. Uh, still quite new to Indigo Swan, I think it's fair to say, but she worked in a different department previously and she's moved across to client guys now. So we will have Andrea on here for the next episode. But Coops, for now, thank you ever so much for joining us. And uh, I'll see you in about two minutes. <laughs>